welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Audrey and today I am sharing with you my whipped coffee recipe. Now, whipped coffee, I feel like, maybe I'm wrong, but it's like pretty new. I had no idea what whipped coffee was until one of my really good friends brought me like a large one and I fell in love with it. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I've been trying to do a little bit less dairy these days, so I... Uh, had it as a coconut like she asked me what kind i wanted and i was like i don't know what kinds there are so she just asked what kind of milk are you wanting i did coconut when i ordered it from a like coffee shop and they did it like coconut mocha and it was so good now it is iced coffee the way i make it i don't know if you can make it other ways um but i figured while i'm at my sister's house i will show you how to make it we went grocery shopping yesterday and so i got a few of the ingredients because she didn't have some of them and uh my grocery haul is going to be sunday and it is a collab i'm so excited for you guys to see it it's kind of crazy just because family kids you might hear some kids in the background cousins are playing which after like this whole quarantine thing it's exactly what my girls needed so Today I am making, it's going to be caramel, which I think is maybe my favorite. Mocha is like right there with it. So caramel or mocha is absolutely amazing. I've done vanilla as well. So I'm going to do caramel today and uh, I add cinnamon and then I'll do uh, almond coconut milk because I think that that is like my favorite for a homemade one. I'll show you guys how I make it. And then you guys tell me, comment down below, like, do you guys have a different recipe? Is yours the same? Let me know, because I've only tried this one, so I'm like willing to try other kinds. But when my friend brought me that one coffee, and then I went ahead and like helped support the local, because it's a local coffee shop in our town, they're like expensive. For too large, it was like $15, which, you know, I like to have a coffee every once in a while, and that would be just so expensive over the long run. So I'm so excited because she sent me how to make the recipe at home. Like this ground cinnamon, the McCormick, it's their uh, whipped coffee recipe. And I just change it just a little bit to make it my own, uh, change the milk around. And theirs is specifically, I think like the vanilla. I don't add vanilla, I did caramel. So really you can kind of like change it up however you'd like. Okay, so you need instant coffee, and I use just the Folgers. I actually really like Folgers coffee. I use the almond coconut milk, and that was the unsweet kind. It's really good with caramel syrup, whipped cream, and ground cinnamon. You want to start off with your instant coffee, and you'll need two teaspoons of instant coffee. And then I didn't put the sugar out, but you do need some sugar, and... Um, that's one tablespoon of granulated sugar and then I eyeball the cinnamon I really like cinnamon so it says on the recipe about 1 8 but I never measure it I just eyeball it and then you will need to do boiling water which is two tablespoons of boiling water you will need to mix this and every time I've made it, I make a mess right away at the beginning. So it's definitely not fancy. It makes a mess to begin with. And the first time I made this, I was like, there's absolutely no way that this is gonna work. Uh, this is supposed to be whipped and it's just liquid, but you have to whip it for about two minutes. And I have found that if like I tilt the bowl, it works a little bit better to get it to the consistency that you need it because you want it to be like that heavier cream that sticks to the spoon um, and almost like doesn't fall off the spoon right away. That's like that perfect consistency for whipped coffee and then it sits and it slowly mixes in with the rest of the liquids. So you can see here on the spoon, the consistency is absolutely perfect. So I start by filling up a cup all the way to the top with ice and I pour in coconut almond milk and caramel syrup. Now it depends on what kind of flavor you want. This time I did caramel, you could definitely do mocha, vanilla, or any other flavoring that you like. Try not to make a mess of <laughs> almond coconut milk like I did, but I just cleaned it up and then I topped it with some of the coffee whip. 
I, want, I always want to say coffee whipped cream, but it's just the whipped coffee, I guess. And then on top of the whipped coffee, I top it off with whipped cream. And this time I topped it off with a little bit of cinnamon, which made it super pretty. Okay, so how delicious does this look? I already took a step, I won't lie. It's amazing. And honestly, this is what it tastes like to me, which you guys will see in my Sunday haul. Oh, have you guys eaten these before? Coconut macarons. So good. So if you like it sweeter, add more caramel, add more sugar, maybe. I don't know. Because the sugar is like what makes it whipped, right? It is so good. How cute is this little cup that I found in my sister's cupboard? But you can kind of see, like, I fill the ice all the way up. I did the coconut milk, mix in um, your caramel. You can even drizzle, like, caramel on the top. Then you put in, like, the scoops of coffee that you want and however much you want. When I make it, I oftentimes will split it, like, my mom is with me so like i'll split it with her um it makes kind of a lot for me but i don't drink like a huge cup you could at home i have bigger cups so maybe like i would just do that one recipe for just me and then make another one for her and then um if if you like it stronger you're gonna want the whole amount and then i top it with whipped cream of course you guys know me if you've been here a while uh the whipped cream is a must so if you guys like this video, if you're going to try it, let me know. Comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'd love to have you guys join my family. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Okay, I got to actually have one of these, even though I'm making dinner in the background for everyone tonight. No one has to know. Oh my gosh, anybody else just addicted to these?